If you think crypto is about finding the best projects, you're wrong. If you want to maximize your gains this upcoming bull cycle, you'll need to change your definition of best. Regular viewers of this channel know that I'm always pushing you to think differently and to think smarter. You might think the best project means finding the newest and most technically advanced platform in Web3, but that only gets us part way there. In this video, I'm helping you go beyond the fundamentals. I'm revealing some critical things that I look at when evaluating a project's potential to go all the way to the top and hit those peak gains. And I'm putting two of my favorite projects head to head to give you this masterclass. So stick with me and I guarantee you won't look at any other project the same way after this one. Welcome back to another episode of Fire Hustle. My name is Summer. I talk about all things crypto and share my personal strategies as we head into the bull cycle. I just launched the Fire Hustle VIP Discord for those who want early access to private token sales for new projects. You'll also get to see my personal portfolio moves, access exclusive giveaways, and much more. Check out the link in the description to learn more at wap.com forward slash fire hustle. If you like videos that can help you get ahead, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can take advantage of all the work I've done. It really helps the channel and I also really appreciate it. And as always, please remember that none of this is financial advice. Now let's jump right into it. So your definition of best crypto project probably has a lot to do with how good the tech is, how innovative fast, scalable, modular, or interoperable it is. You're even giving bonus points if it incorporates zero knowledge proofs. And although all of that is very important, I'm here to tell you that it plays a very small part in the actual success of the project. I want you to put yourself in the shoes of the masses out there that are investing in crypto. Whether it's retail investors or institutional investors, what ultimately makes or breaks a project is its ability to attract capital. In order for you to make a profit, you have to sell to someone willing to buy from you at a higher price. And that price goes higher and higher as there's more people willing to buy. Of course, the fundamentals and utility play a part, but it's a lot less than you think. If you don't believe me, just look at meme coins. The fact that they exist just proves my point. For a project to really succeed, the project must fit a key narrative, must be easy to understand, and must have hype to fuel its growth and scale. Big winners always seem to have some sort of competitive advantage. So that's what we're looking for. And I'm not just gonna leave you hanging there. I'm gonna show you how to apply this framework by diving into projects that I think have a ton of potential, ton and base, no pun intended. I'll look at them through the tech lens and the hype lens. So let's start with the open network or ton. It's a layer one chain that was initially designed to facilitate fast and secure transactions on a particular messaging app. From a scalability perspective, it uses dynamic sharding. Sharding is when you split the network into smaller chains, which allows it to handle transactions much faster, which brings us to speed. This type of architecture makes Ton perfect for high frequency applications. Ton is secured through proof of stake and advanced cryptography. It allows for cross chain communication so you can bridge to other chains and they've got some nice wallet applications already built and operating. All of that sounds absolutely fantastic. But the honest truth is that there was nothing there that you haven't heard before. If you stopped your research here, this would seem like a great chain, but it would be really hard to build a case for its success over the hundreds of other layer ones out there. Now let's apply our framework and uncover what really makes Ton amazing. We have to find the competitive advantage. So for starters, Ton is sometimes referred to as the Telegram open network. That's because it was actually developed by the team behind Telegram, which is the messaging app of choice for the crypto world. But it's bigger than that. Telegram has more than 800 million monthly active users around the world, and Ton integrates seamlessly with Telegram, allowing users to easily manage their assets. This alone brings significant credibility and the potential for widespread adoption. It's already driving millions of new users to blockchain technology. This is the competitive advantage that we're looking for, and the benefits continue to compound and accelerate the growth of the project. Ten has been quick to form some strategic partnerships with some big names, OKX, Bybit, Tether, and Animoca Brands, just to name a few. Security is also a big part of the story. Telegram is fully encrypted and places a huge emphasis on privacy. This extends to Ton, which has been designed with strong privacy and security features. Ton has even overcome some big regulatory challenges already, which gives them major points in my books. So based on everything you've just learned about Ton, what do you think drove it to become a top 10 project by market cap? Was it the tech or was it the competitive advantage? 
And if I showed all of this information to you a few years ago when Tun had launched, then my framework would have brought you to the exact conclusion. Now, before we move on to the next project, let's quickly jump into the Tun price chart. I recently started using L Bank here as one of my main exchanges. There is no KYC required and it's accessible from any country. They have a wide range of tokens listed, including Tun. You can use the link in the description to sign up and get heavily discounted fees for all of your trades on L Bank. So I definitely consider Tun a blue chip it was already strongly positioned but really started to climb back in march we've seen this one take a beating along with every other altcoin out there for my portfolio i see this as a buying opportunity i think ton is going to be one of the bigger stories this cycle and i've only scratched the surface because there's lots of interesting projects building on the chain it's the perfect layer one for DeFi, gaming supply chain and especially social media and communication because of the integration with telegram if you're interested in a deep dive on ton projects let me know in the comments below now let's take a look at project number two base chain so let's apply the same framework of tech versus hype and competitive advantage so base is a layer two blockchain designed to provide a secure, low-cost, and developer-friendly environment for building dApps, and it's built on top of Ethereum, which means it inherits its security but uses optimistic rollups to bundle the transactions to make things less congested. These rollups also reduce latency, making things faster and more efficient with much lower fees. Base is also designed to be interoperable with Ethereum and other layer twos. The EVM compatibility makes it super easy to develop apps. All of that sounds fine and dandy, but again, we've seen all of this before. Let's peel back the layers and uncover what really makes the base chain an absolute killer of a chain. So base chain was developed by Coin Base, hence the name Base. Coinbase is one of the biggest exchanges in the world. That connection alone gives this project so much firepower and potential to be huge. Binance has proven the concept and was the first big exchange to create their own chain. Just look at how big the Binance smart chain is and how many developers have chosen to build on it. But Coinbase has learned from them and made some key changes that could make Base even bigger. Not to mention the fact that Binance has faced some pretty harsh legal and regulatory issues. My boy CZ is currently facing his prison sentence sentence in California as we speak, but all of this has paved the way for Coinbase to take the number one spot globally. The key difference between BASE and BSC is that BASE doesn't have its own native token. It uses Ethereum as its gas token. So why was this a smart decision? Well, because there's already so many Ethereum holders out there making BASE adoption that much easier. So BASE benefits from everything Ethereum is working on while serving as the ultimate EVM compatible layer 2. It's no wonder that the BASE Base chain has absolutely exploded. Since there's no base token to trade, your way to make gains with this network is through ecosystem projects. There's so many base gems out there, everything from critical infrastructure projects and some super hot meme coins. If you're interested in a deep dive on my top base projects, leave a comment below. So now that you've learned how to identify a project's competitive advantage, I hope it's changed your perspective on what best crypto projects really are. The biggest gains come from when you apply this framework to brand new projects and get in early. Ton and base are clear winners from the start. Now go out there and find the next one. Or join the Fire Hustle VIP Discord for early gems and the inside scoop on what I'm getting into. And that's all folks. If you're interested in learning more about Ton and base, I've put all of the important links in the description below. And if you want more videos like this, then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Remember, the crypto space comes with a high risk and none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend that you do your own research before deciding to invest. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.